Hello everybody and welcome to Magical Watercolor. In this tutorial I will show you how to paint light and the different ways to spare white places on your paper. If you want to see how it was done, stay here. As always, all the supplies I've used are in the description below. Also, you will find a free downloadable PDF of a line drawing and a reference photo. If you have any questions, please leave the message below and I will answer. So, let's go to painting. You do painting board, watercolor paper, brushes, masking fluid, an oil pastel, and a little bit of salt. To create an illusion of light, define the white places before painting. For the flowers I used an oil pastel. Why? Because I didn't want sharp edges. The paper is rough and the pastel make the edges rough too, so it looks more natural. For the vase and the head I used masking fluid. You just apply it with a fine brush and let it dry. Don't forget to clean your brush immediately. Now let's look at three great watercolor techniques. Wet on wet, wet on dry and dry on dry. For the first one, moist your paper with a flat brush. Don't paint immediately, otherwise the watercolor will flow all sides. Do a hand test, just fill the paper with the back of your hand, it must feel almost dry. Or let the water soak in the paper for a couple of minutes and then dab it lightly with a tissue. Apply some color. Use a fine brush for more details. The next one is wet on dry. Apply some color. Then add a new color just on the edge of the previous, like this. Notice how the colors flow into each other. And now you can see it nicely. It's a great technique to create textures on the background. The next one is dry on dry. Take some color.
and dab your brush to get rid of too much water like this you can use a tissue too now place your brush almost horizontally and apply some color notice how you see the texture it's a great technique for painting sunny water or a reflection of the moon experiment with the brush sizes and brush strokes In my painting, I used it on the table to create some texture. Now let's start painting. Moist the flowers with a flat brush and let the water soak into the paper. Moist the watercolors with a little bit of water. A spray is great, therefore. Mix yellow ochre and olive green. Don't use too much water, otherwise the dry color would be so intense. Apply it on dry paper. Mix permanent blue violet and permanent red violet. Add some water drops on the edge to create a texture in the background.
If the edge of the watercolor layer is dry and you don't want it, then rub the edge with a wet brush or a natural sponge and apply your watercolor again above it. Now moisten the background and the edge of lilacs. It will create soft transitions. Dab some places with a tissue to create different shapes of flowers.
moistly lacks on the table. Create the shape of the flowers. Apply a darker color for the shadow. Gently apply transparent color above yellow underlay. Left the reflection on the table white. Use a tissue to clean or dab your brush. Fade the edges out with a slightly wet brush.
if you begin to paint but see that your paper is not wet enough, erase the color spot with a wet brush and moisten the paper a little bit more. Apply tiny color spots for the lilacs. Apply transparent color on the background to harmonize with the flowers. With a flat wet brush rub gently on the edges to soften them. Dab with a tissue. Use two brushes for the leaves, one with green, other with ochre. This way you will not constantly wash your brush before taking another color. Define darker leaves with a fine brush.
Apply light olive green color without too much water. Go further with other colors. Use another wet fine brush to fade out the edges.
I have erased the masking fluid with a gum. Now it would be easy to paint fine details on the vase. Use a white Posca marker or another white acrylic marker to define thin edges of the vase.
Make tiny white spots with acrylic marker. Rub with a wet brush around the white places to create an illusion of glowing. Moist the lilacs once more. Dab it lightly.
with a fine brush at some branches. Paint some tiny flowers on the table with a very light color add some reflection on the table. Use a flat brush to make broad color strokes for the table and the background. Rub with a wet flat brush to create light strokes on the head. With a Posca marker I add more white spots in the flowers.
Make the background between the flowers dark. Wet on dry to make sharp edges and wet on wet on the background. Use some color dry on dry to create texture on the table. Thank you for watching, I hope you have enjoyed it.